ultrasound uh, in the medical profession can show us what is inside the body, for example, a kidney stone or a baby. The waves of the earthquake also can show us what is inside the earth. We pick these waves, we time them. The time between each wave can help us by the speed of the arrival, measure the distance, and then build a picture. Very fine one means a lot of earthquakes with the earthquake stations. A coarser one like this one is the one that I will use, and we use a few stations to measure the distance and build a 3D model. You can see here the depiction of the depth and the uh, location, longitude, and latitude for the Reckonis Peninsula around the Grindavik to the Blue Lagoon. We can see the Grindavik. I can uh, show you that's the surface. You can see under the Grindavik, uh, we don't have many earthquakes. The most at the depth of five kilometers. That's where most of the tectonic earthquakes happen. One, the ones, but the ones that rise to the shallower depth are the ones that can open up the way for the magma to rise. Under the Grindavik, we don't have, but north of the Grindavik, at the Hagerfield, we have a lot of those little circles. And at the Blue Lagoon, we don't have a much, but to the east of it, uh, where the Sunduka craters are, we have some uh, of these uh, shallow depth earthquakes. I'll show you again after this again, so you can see it carefully. Uh, we use this to... Uh, put the possible locations of the future earthquake, uh, future eruptions on the map of that area. As you can see, now again I show you again, this is the Grindavik, you can see to the right under it, we don't have, but just to the, slightly to the left of it, we have that Hagerfell area that the uh, little earthquakes are rising to a shallower depth. At the depth of five kilometers, all the tectonic earthquakes, for example, what we have in the uh, clear for what is actually rising a little bit, so maybe the magma will erupt in that crystallic volcanic system near it. In the Blue Lagoon, we don't have any of those effects. Blue Lagoon is relatively a safe place. A sword sengi, we have slightly a hill toward the uh, east of it, which will happen something there. So I mark the first point of the eruption, Hagerfeld, then slightly to the north of it, another and then to the south of it also we may have a, a, another option the likelihood of these ones i show them again and the one that is inside the wall of the Schwarzenegger is the least likely and the one toward the sea also south of the Grindavik uh, i show them again to you you can look at them first most likely place is the Hagerfell where i have north of the Hagerfell then south of it, slightly to the north of it, they have a the very similar probability. Then the Swartzengi one, and the least likely to see actually, because in the sea is the one that is happening south of the Grindavik, inside the sea. I mark them here, sequence. This is the Hagerfell. I think this is the most likely place. Then the second like, likely place is toward the Grindavik, but not reaching the Grindavik. We have a wall there, and the lava stops also. Uh, solidified lava. Then we have near the Sundunka another one, number three. Number four is inside the walls of the Sword Sengi. Probably that can be a risk, is less likely, but the one near the sea is less likely to be seen. We will not see it even if it happens. So when the earthquakes uh, uh, open the pathway, the Sword Sengi area has swollen because of the accumulation of the magma. There is not much waste for it to erupt from that location. So the land rise happens there. Our GPS data will pick it up. The land is rising every, every day, probably a few millimeters up to a centimeter. And then through a seal, which is a horizontal leakage of the lava, it leads it to the dark toward the Sundunka, Hagerfell, Grindovic, and all those areas. They call it magma tunnel, as if. And that dark is where the magma erupts as a volcano that we have seen. So this eruption happens most likely in the Hagerfell area, and slightly to the south, which will flow, and also slightly toward the east, northeast. And that is where the likely path will be. Some of it will go toward the north, but most of it will be toward the south. Something like... Uh, the eruption of the Hagerfell, which happened in January. This is the MBL uh, um, live camera that you can see. The moment of the eruption, 
beautiful eruption bang in the darkness like the supernova in the sky as if and then we had the eruption started the smoke and uh, all kind of gases rising vapors i should say rise into the sky this will be happening soon in that area everything is ready for the eruption we know roughly where it's going to happen